Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. In today's video we are going to be introducing you to integers inside of Unreal Engine 4, having a deeper look at how we can use it inside of the engine. So what we're going to be doing over the next few videos is we are going to be looking at the various types of data inside of Unreal Engine 4. And that's going to be everything from integers, booleans, floats and so on and in today's video we are going to be taking a deeper look at integers and how we can use them. So what we're going to do then is we are going to start off by creating our very own variable with the type integer. So inside of my level blueprint what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable by pressing the plus variable icon and then I'm just going to give this the name test int. Now notice what I have done here is the first letter of each word is capitalized so that it comes out with a space as part of the blueprint. If you put a space in there it's just not going to compile. So with this then in the details panel on the right hand side I am going to change the type to integer and an integer value if we compile this is essentially just a whole number and this can be anything as high as you like but it cannot have decimal places. Now what I'm going to do is take a moment to show you how you could use a integer value. So what I'm actually going to do is quickly delete the script that I've got here already for my light and then with my begin play I am going to use the print string node to print the value of my integer. Now with this integer selected at the moment you can see it's currently set to zero. What I'm going to do is click drag and drop to get a reference to that integer so it's going to allow me to get the information from that value. And if I hook this up into my print string, it's going to convert this to a string, which is essentially a piece of text. But what this is going to do essentially is take the value of my integer, a number value, and print it to a string. Now bear in mind, what you could do with this is link it up into a gameplay system of yours that you're coding. For example, an integer would be used for the number of a certain amount of items the player has, or the health, or anything like that. So if we compile this now, press play in the top left hand corner, you will notice it said zero for two seconds, and that was in this bright blue color. Now, in terms of working with integers, you can easily manipulate this value. So what I'm going to do is I am going to grab my test integer. And then what I'm also going to do is if I type in integer, just by right clicking and typing it in, you will notice down here I've got loads of maths, uh, mathematical functions that I can use with the integer. So I could do integer minus integer integer multiplied by integer, multi uh, divided by, plus, and then I can also do less than and all of that good stuff. You will get to use those as you get deeper into blueprints. Now the one that I'm going to do is multiplication. I am going to do this, which is essentially going to take the first value and multiply it by the second value. Now as of right now, our integer is currently equal to zero. So I'm going to select this and you can do that by either clicking on it in the variables tab or just by clicking on one of your get reference values. And I'm going to change this to two. And then if I go and multiply my test integer by two, it should do two by two. And the way we're going to check this is by simply moving our print string along and hooking this up instead of the one that we've got over here. So now if we compile this, instead of saying two or zero, it should display the end result of this function that we've just created. So press play and you can see it now says four in the top left and that is our two by two. Now if you guys did not see that well enough inside of the print string, what you can do is if you press the little down arrow, you can uh, do a couple of things. You can make it last longer on the screen and the print string is a great way for you to check your work. 
um, but I'm going to set this to go on the screen for 5 seconds. What I can also do is change the text colour to maybe something you might notice more, like a, a bright green or a bright red, it's entirely up to you. But I'm going to press OK, hit compile, and then press play just like that, and you can see it is now 4. One other thing that you might want to do with your value, with your integer values, is you might want to set it. So after I've done this, what I'm actually going to do is set and then type in test integer and it's going to allow us to, to define a new value. So what I'm going to do with this now then is with my test integer, I'm going to change this to something completely different. So at the moment it will be equal to 4 there. Um, and what I'm going to do is just set this to 10. And by setting this variable to 10, that is what it's going to be saved at. So if I then go ahead and print another string and then hook up my test integer into here, it is going to say 10. Now, another way we could do this is just by hooking up the end result into here as well. It's entirely up to you. But what you do need to bear in mind is this multiplication I've done here and put into the print string is not going to be saved because we haven't used the set test integer. What we could do is hook up our output into the test integer set node here and then that would save it to 4. So what I'm going to do is test what we've got here now. So it should go to 4 and then 10 and you can see that. And now if we open up our level blueprints, let's just go ahead and make sure this little line of code that we've got here is being saved. So what I'm going to do is delete the print string, delete this conversion and 2 times 2 or test integer times 2, I'm going to hook this up into our test integer and note it is no longer asking for a variable or a piece of information because we are getting it from the return node inside of this multiplication. Let's hook this up to begin play and then print the string and just for double measures I am going to run a delay of two seconds and then I am going to print another string and get the test integer again. And the way I just got that then was just by copying pasting the one that I've selected here and I'm going to hook it up, compile and press play. So what it should do this time is 4, wait a couple of seconds and then it displayed 4 again and that is all working. So hopefully you guys are getting a better understanding of how we can work with integers inside of Unreal Engine 4 and some of the commands that we can use to change that number up whether that's multiplication, division, addition and all of that kind of good stuff. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you move on to the next video where we're going to be covering floats. Thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.